Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Strawberry Moon, bringing you love, joy, and positivity with our reborn family. My name is Lulu, and why do you always have to do this? You always have to put me off my stroke when you're on. It's no wonder I don't do it very often. Today, we are spending time with our alien girl, Zantisha. She is an alien um, child. And uh, the reason that she uh, put me completely off my stroke by saying, don't forget me, don't forget me not, actually is what she said, is because she talks to me. She has a little cybernetic implant right here on her ear and some more on her face. And it means that she can speak to me, but you can't hear her, only I can. So yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm very snuffly today, and I will try not to make that unattractive noise, but sometimes stuff gets into the back of my throat and I can't help it. Anyway, Tish is a beautiful girl for those of you who don't know her. She looks very, very alien. She is a combination of a beautiful bronzy gold and green. And as I say, she's got these gears. She's got one on her ear. She's got one on one of her eyes. Her other eye is really striking in its coloration. Can you remind us what it is? It's um, gold. It's, it's like a blue marble effect. Uh, and then you've got the gold in the middle. That's right. I remember the gold. So she's got she's got this amazing eye. And, she's, you know, her face is vaguely humanoid-ish, except that she's got, like, folds of skin around the front of her um of her face around the, the front and around the side she's got like these little little folds would you say yeah i'd say folds yeah yeah and a very narrow mouth which is actually really hard to get anything in she's got no hair her head is 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 the skin she's also got gears on her arms gears on her legs can i have that please thank you and she you can't get her away from this tangle fidget toy I'll give it to you back once you've had a... Zantisha, you do this every time I feed you on camera. You say something rude. Now, don't speak to mummy like that. It is not the never way, okay? Very sorry she is, she says. Yes, I think so too. Um, so, yeah, so she's, she's very, very different. She loves beautiful clothes. She's wearing this... Gorgeous! It's a green dress, isn't it? This mm -hmm. one, green with a white lace, just stunning. And it's it's um, white eyelet lace and tulle, and a flower corsage on the front. It's very, very beautiful. And she's wearing um, lots of jeweled bracelets, lots of jeweled anklets, and um, also a beautiful um, necklace with a heart. So she's very, very elegant because on her planet. Um, before she came here, she was a princess, which is another reason why she gets fed, because on her planet, Lyra, um, people, princesses and aristocrats like her, I'm just putting her bib on. <clears throat> now, I know you don't like it, Tish, but if you want me to feed you, you've got to have a bib or I will spill things all over your, your clothes. On her planet, people would not dream of putting food into their own mouths. So, let me just check that I've got everything to hand. Yeah, it's coming, sweetheart. It's coming. <clears throat> I've started giving her... She has three kinds of food, but I've started giving her the methylornine for breakfast, which is basically minerals and methyl and oil. And that's why it's kind of, if you look at the texture of it, it's very squudgy. Um, and also sort of slightly crystalline looking. And <clears throat> this keeps the cybernetic part of her body nourished, which is why she has what she has. Right, madam, are we ready? Uh, we're going to have to just turn the head slightly so that I can get the spoon into your mouth, okay? Okay, we're trying a new flavour of methanonine today. Uh, this is yellow. Did you say it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So, um, is it a bright yellow or a... It's a kind of pale yellow? mid kind of golden yellow. So we have citrine and gold filings in the mixture. A citrine, don't you know, sweetheart, it's a, a kind of yellow stone, a yellow gemstone. And you know gold, don't you? <laughs> gold, I do know. I should, she says. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Let's see what you think of that, because it's a new one. We haven't tried this one before. Ah, very tasty it is, she says. She's a little bit, uh, because, you know, she works through a translator, she's a tiny bit Yoda-ish, the way she speaks. There we go, darling. Ah, careful, I never nearly dropped that. That's these rotten gears, Tish. You shouldn't have them all over your mouth. Yeah, I know you can't help it, but it's difficult to, be, to feed you because... Your mouth's kind of half blocked. It's very annoying. But it makes you, you, my awesome little Lyran princess. I got it right. I got it right. Right, you did get it, she says. Yes, she is Lyran and she comes from Lyra. Don't you? Don't you? So, <clears throat> what have you been up to? Bert, I have been playing with in the nursery, she says. Uh, Bert's a nice, nice person because he looks after you and all your brothers and sisters, doesn't he? Yeah? So I'm glad he's been making time to play with you. And of course, because she's a lot older than the others, apart from Daffy and Lacey, who actually go to school, um, she has like an education program, um, which she is able to access via the, the gears <laughs> and um, I don't know how much help it is to her because obviously it's education for children on Lyra where she came from, open wide sweet girl, or as wide as you can anyway. Um, but it seems to keep her occupied at least. She has these incredible um, hand to eye tests, you'll go in there where she sits and you'll see her her hands are like moving in the air like this moving in the air up and down up and down and like it's, it's so fast sometimes you can't even um you can hardly see where her hands are they're a blur aren't they <laughs> in practice i have to keep she says <laughs> well, you're a clever girl a very clever girl aren't you there you go well done. I say this every time I feed her and then life happens and it doesn't doesn't work, but I must get some treasure beans on the go so we can show you treasure beans because we've shown you it's a long back time back but we have showed you before and the other kind of food she has, which is kind of equivalent to protein I would suppose for her body. Um, and this, I suppose, is the nearest to carbs, and treasure beans is the nearest to vegetables. But I used to give her a meal with all three. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Choked up chicken. Might be a gold watch. <laughs> it went down the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I used to give her a, 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 like a tray with all three on it, but she was starting to get too fat. So we've had to split it up, haven't we, darling? Oh, you preferred it with all three, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> oh, you don't complain, Zantisha Harchin. May you be forgiven. She says, complain, I do not. It is not the noble way. And for those of you who don't know, if you say something is or isn't done because it is or is not the noble way, that is the end of the discussion. Um, you know, basically, argument over. And it actually works both ways. You know, I'll ask you to do something. Open. Oh, you need a drink? Okay, hold on a sec. 
I have got one here. I did remember. Um, yeah, she, you wanted to do something and she's like, no. And I said, you know, why can't you do that, this, that, the other? Because it's not the Nova way. End of discussion. You go. This is her fruit smoothie. She has three different ones. And I get these from far home from the place that she came from. Um, the place that they, they send me any magical creatures or aliens that I have to foster. And they send these vacuum sealed from there because they've got like alien vegetable and fruit juices inside. This is a fruit one, I think, by the colour. Orange and yellow. How's that? Oh, she's thirsty. Hey, whoa, 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 don't go so fast. Look at the hiccups. <laughs> Look at the hiccups. You want some more? Dry that stuff is. Yeah, it looks dry. I wouldn't like to eat it, I have to say. There you go. Clever girl. Uh, uh, uh. Right, let's get a few more spoons of this into you um, before we stop yatter yattering. I'll tell you what she really does like. Um, you've actually seen, you haven't seen this, but there's a game I'm playing at the moment and it's very interesting and it's a little bit deep for a, a good little girl of her age, but she absolutely adores it. Uh, yes, you can't have him, you'll have to stand in line behind me. She says, Noah the best is. Noah's one of the six main characters and he is just lovely. He's gorgeous and I love him to pieces. He's the kind of character that, yes, has to fight, but he fights for what's right. And But the, the core of him, yeah, I was, I'm saying it, don't, man. She says, the core of him, very gentle is, is what you are trying to say is. <laughs> Can you just eat, not talk, yeah? Is he always upstaging me? It's not fair. All right, so yeah, she's a, a great fan of Noah in this um, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Seriously, if you have a Switch and you haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, do yourself a favour. It is so worth the money. It's the best game I've ever played, and that's saying quite a bit. Yeah, she says, best game you ever played, it certainly is. Better than those silly animals furry. Tishy, that's rude. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Animal Crossing. Uh, animal Crossing, very boring, is. Same things every day you do. Well, I suppose there is something in that, but I used to like it before I grew up and moved on to other things. But at least we do something new every day. Yes, it is true that Auntie Lixie has the game and her characters are ahead of us in levels. <laughs> she says, not fair that is. How possible is it? <laughs> well, Auntie Lixie's got more time to play than we have. Oh, you and it's technically it. Mummy's fault anyway for getting me into it. Well, <laughs> there is that. There is that. She's a monkey today. All right. One more couple of spoons, one drink, and we will call this quits. She is full of it this morning. <laughs> full of it every morning I am, she says. No, you're not. Sometimes I'll feed you and you won't say a word to me. You're as grumpy as hell. It's because you know that the camera is on you. That's why you're so talkative. You've never eaten all this anyway. Well done, Tishkins. Okay, I think that's going to be good enough for Jazz. Let's give you your last drink and then we can say goodbye, okay? You did well there, girl. Well, I'll give it to you. Yeah, I've... She says, depriving me of my food you are now. I'm certainly not. I'll give it to you later, that's it. Oh, excuse me a minute. Her head's really stiff. Um, turn and look at the camera. Is that okay? There she is. Look at the camera slightly. Okay, I can I can give you a drink from this angle. And well, I might just pour it down your neck. She says, pour it down my neck, would you not dare? Oh, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, wouldn't I just? I just
jolly well would. Oh, it's hard actually from this angle. There we are. Oh, she's thirsty. I've told you to slow down. No wonder you're choking. All right. One more. Clap, girl. All right. That will be. That will do. That will do us. So we are going to love you and leave you, aren't we? Oh yes. Sorry, mum. She needs her bib taken off. She says, "I say goodbye in a bib. I cannot." Okay, fine. <laughs> She's so feisty today. So we'll love you and leave you. Thank you so much for being with us. Take care of yourselves until we meet again. Enjoy your babies. Thank you for watching and have a great day. And are you going to tell us? Yes, she's going to tell us. Let's be good to each other, shall we? Mm. Little talkative saucy one. Bye-bye.